Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now, in the last few episodes, I've been attempting to fulfill all needs in every category for every tier of resident, starting with the investors and working my way down the tiers. Now, I'm pleased to say that it looks like we're pretty much done for the investor category, which was the toughest category, and next we'll be moving on to the tourists and engineers together, as a lot of their lifestyle needs are actually interlinked. Now, we'll be using a lot of the new world to help make these things, you know, such as ice cream and scooters. And because of that, I felt it was time to reorganize the space there as it was just getting really cluttered as I was throwing down so much stuff temporarily. And I've got a quick time lapse to show off the improvement, so let's begin. Hey everyone, it turns out that the time lapse I had prepared either got deleted or it was never recorded in the first place. Pretty sure I did record it, but I must have accidentally deleted it when I was clearing up some older files as I recently just got back from a trip. So, my bad, I don't think that's ever happened before, but what I thought I would do here is just show you a sort of before and after of this area so you can sort of orientate yourself whenever I'm talking about in the future where things have moved or where things are now. So let's just do a brief overview of where things are currently, and then I'll show you the after effect and then we'll see where things will be in future. All right, so very quickly, we have obviously the massive area doing aluminum profiles. We then have sewing machines right next to it, fans, which have their connected to motor factories, all of the electric cables that went over here. And then down more in the center, we have some of the cotton fabric, which eventually started spilling out over the factory as I was getting lazier and lazier for space and decided to move it further and further out. So lots of cotton fabric in here. Obviously, just again, aluminum profiles, fans, cotton fabric. We have some chemical plants doing the film reel. And I think that's kind of it for the most important thing. Some tortilla factories down here. Over on the left, you may remember, we just added in these extra farms, which haven't yet had their supply of fuel. They're not yet close enough to get that. We then have tons of hot sauce surrounded by a trade union, of course, allowing everyone here to... Well, allowing the process to be automated without people at all. So no yeah, workers are in these buildings. Boss. Zero. So there's the trade union, then we also have the rest of the motor factories, and then similarly to that, obviously we have the cables again, s surrounded by their own trade union, which interestingly, one of them actually isn't in the circle. The other big row of <laughs> machines, almost, the other row of factories is perfume, and then we have cigars and veneers. In terms of the agriculture, that's not really going to change, which is good to kind of know where it is. We've got corn, lots of cow chuck, and then lots of cotton up here as well. And that's kind of everything for this particular area. We then have tons of different types of orchards and wood and things like that, that over the next episode or two, I'll be kind of chipping away at um, and starting to turn into more orchards rather than having wood or timber being made here because it's kind of pointless as space, even on an island such as this, is still at a premium. All right, that's pretty much it. In case you're wondering what this big building is, it's obviously the uh, airship platform with our various little modules on the side, and that's not going to really change at all. So this will be a temporary tem time lapse, I kind of say, because like I'll be trying to get more space efficient, but it's not going to be permanent until everything is really in place, and then we can do a proper overhaul to make it look nice. But the idea for this is to condense space as much as possible. So let's have a look at what it looks like now. Alrighty, and just like that, everything has now been reorganized. It's such a shame that I couldn't show you how it was moved around, because it was kind of fun to watch, I think, or it was fun to do, and I assume, therefore, fun to watch. But let's just take a quick look at where everything is grouped now, so you can always orientate yourself whenever I'm referring to certain objects, buildings, things like that. Alright, so basically down here we've got all of our storage just kind of along a line on the outside. We then have the various different laboratories doing things, medicine, pigments, the fire extinguishers. Then we've got felt and fabric, kind of localized and grouped together, which is nice. Especially since they sometimes combine to go into other buildings. We then have the tortillas in a line down here. Couple soccer balls, uh, the bomb bin hats, and then of course the aluminum profiles are all up here now, surrounded with their trade union. Down here then, we have our fans. I think there's... I don't know if that's the same mount as was there before, but it feels like there's maybe even one more. Anyway, those are all the fan buildings right there, and then of course, as you can see, we have the motor buildings all up here. Surrounded of course now by the trade union, so that was kind of just moved from previously over here to over here, and rotated to the side. Now, one of the hot sauces can actually be put in that spot, but they are Hacienda factories. So they actually need to be within that blue circle coming from the Hacienda over here. And it's just a little bit short, but I have no doubt that as we grow the population, that radius will extend and we can pop it back in there. Uh, but like I said, it may end up changing anyway. All right, so we just have, again, more storage facilities, things like that. The right side hasn't changed. You know, it's still the orchards, the wood, all that kind of stuff. Nothing out there. Uh, unusual. We then have the cigar factories down here, the chemical plants here doing film reel, 
I can't remember why, but I obviously decided that one of these isn't needed. So one of them's gone now. Only two were actually needed, as long as they're in the uh, trade union. It's a good trade union to have because it means we can add more chemical plants to get an effect within, within this radius. Or if we ever wanted more cigars, or if I wanted, I could get rid of a cigar because we actually make, I think, 24 tons per minute more than we need. I think something like 40 tons per minute is made and we only need about 20. All right, down here then we've got the sewing machines, the veneers. So the veneers obviously feed into this area. Sewing machines, I guess, I just put there because I didn't know where else to put them. Uh, the factory, the, not the factories, the farms are now being kind of cleaned up. So we've got four now rather than just two. And they're doing their corn, they have their silos, they have their tractors. And they're just a little, they're orientated a little further out from where the actual hydroelectric dam was. Oh, cool. I've never noticed that it has a, it has an icon. That's kind of cool. Didn't know that. So holding C, the copy of building, shows you the various recipes and things that go into things. And I just, I don't know, never knew that. It's kind of cool. Anyways, um, yeah, so the little farms that were down here have now been moved over here, closer to their agricultural buddies. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't know if anything changed out this way, but we have our two kind of grouping areas for chemical plants, and then we've got the perf- Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The perfumes are now out here, and the cables are out here. So these are kind of grouped together away from the busy area so that they had room for their trade union to do things. Uh, a lot of the trade union space isn't really being used right now, and it's just Ferris in there giving us a boost. So, could change in future. I mean, I hope it will change. It should definitely be more optimized and put in a place that makes a bit more sense in the future. But for now, it's totally fine where it is. So, with all of that said, let's get back into the episode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The new and improved Manola. Now, it is all sort of temporary. I've kind of just condensed the space to give me more canvas to work with for my artistry, as it were. Uh, I think in the last episode we were working on investors and we were doing the film reels and it seemed like everything was pretty much good for the film reels except for just a few of the base tier ingredients to feed in. So that's what we got to work on today. I think there was some cotton and other things that they're going to be requiring that we have to fix and then we'll move straight into the tourists and engineers. I don't think it's going to take too long but let's see how it goes. Alright, so let's get re-familiar with what the actual chain, the production chain this is for is film reels. So, of course, we've got all the needs here, all totally good, happiness is all great, lifestyle. Still not going to focus on mail for a little while, but these guys have their film reel for now, because we had thousands banked over in Manola, so the delivery process is up and running. But I just need to make sure that the bottom tier of that chain is not going to fall out from under me. So let's just check on the delight categories, because these three have changed a little bit since the restructuring over in Manola. I'd like to just make sure that they're not broken. Alright, so we'll head back, Nothing so it's going to be... Perfumes, fans, and film reel. Alright, so. Artistas. Let's check the perfume category first. Alright, so perfume. Looks like we're producing 25 over 23. Of course, this did just recently change. We used to have them all out in the lineup here. Now they are... Uh, where the hell are they? Oh yeah, sorry, they're down here, yeah. So they're all in the line, well not in the line, in kind of a grid space here, being shared now with the Ferris Al Sarami. And we could even boost them further with certain items. You got ideas for particular items that you think would be a good idea to throw into this trade union, as there is very little space to add anything else. Be my guest. But there is some things we could add, and it's a general trade union, right? It's kind of a trade union that's going to be boosting productivity of all production buildings, and we'll probably do the same for maybe reducing workforce or something else. And that way it's like... If we can throw a few buildings in there that maybe don't necessarily fit under a category like all stuff for chemical plants and things like that, that's a great trade union to have to say like, oh, maybe soccer balls, you know, we don't want to dedicate a full circle for that, but maybe just throw them into this one, a general trade union that has improvements for a bit of everything. Uh, but anyway, well, I guess we'll kind of feel it out and see what happens. If you've, any got, if you've got any glaring ideas that you're like, Darren, how have you not done this yet? Uh, feel free to let me know. One of the great comments was, of course, linking up electricity to this area. I just thought it was pretty much global, but the electricity was coming from the north of the dam here, around, and then through the city and then out. That's why it wasn't enough reach, but now we've obviously got enough reach, so totally fine there. And that allowed me to actually turn off um, three chemical plants here and six over here in total. I think three were already off. Now, we're probably going to need chemical plants for stuff like chewing gum and things in the future, so I'm just going to keep that as reserved space. I'm actually using as well here a trade union that actually affects chemical plants as well. So the first one is cigars, right? It's doing stuff for the cigar factories, affecting the cigar factory. But then we have that Salvador guy in here who's affecting cigar factories, but also all new world chemical plants. So that's increasing their productivity massively, but also increases their workforce. But 
it changes the workforce to use Artistas instead of whatever else it was using. So that's nice, I've got two film reel chemical plants in there, although I suppose if I really wanted to, maybe you could move these out to where we just saw those chemical plants earlier. Alright, so hopefully that just kind of catches you up on that. It seems like we're making enough perfume, but I suppose I could just doubly check that we have the enough base ingredients. So let's go orchid, coconut oil, and ethanol. So let's go orchid. Yep. Coconut oil, yep. And ethanol, yes. Alright. So we're producing enough of all of that stuff, so I'm not too worried then from there on out. I suppose we could just check on ethanol just to make sure that the base ingredients for that are good. So it's going to be corn. Well, it gets produced in many different ways, actually, so I, th I think it's fine. I don't think we have to check on it. We'll notice if there's a hitch somewhere, but it's usually like corn and wood, I think, to make the ethanol. The extra corn fields are down now. I think corn is something we're going to have to fix because it's not, yeah, it's not fully satiated globally just yet so uh, maybe we could just tackle that problem now it uh, requires 97 we've got space to just add a few more let me try add one maybe in yeah we'll just move these over i'd like to make use of the space if i could just i don't know just seems like it's a uh, might as well maybe sideways would make sense and then we can use some of the grid space to the sides of it about there so that way it has a way out well, I tell you what you can do for me. You can throw down a fertilizer silo. I'm actually quite low on... Oh, no, bricks have come back up, actually. That's good. Um, yeah, let's do one of these jobs where it's side by side. Ah, we're lacking steam motors. Maybe we'll pull together a delivery of these. Because it has. Be I've been using a lot of them, and I haven't queued up any other deliveries to send them out here. Once the ship gets here, we'll just pick up a bunch. There should be plenty here. And, uh, yeah, we'll send over a, a ship of 300, at least. Probably should have a regular delivery going out there. But I need the ships right now. We don't have that many. I'm queuing, I've queued up quite a few ships to be built, so it'll be fine. Alrighty. Off you go to the New World, to Manula. Not a big deal. We'll just wait till it gets there, but we know how many modules we'll need first. otherwise, so it's fine. Alright, let's do that. Scoop these over, upgrade this one. Alrighty. 64. So what is it normally? 96, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be 51 in there. 68. Let's see if we can get this up to 64. Or sorry, 96. So that's 95. Looking good. I suppose we we'll just slam one extra one in there somewhere. There we go. A little bit of extra space. I'll oh, we'll probably need to, gonna need another one of these, and there's a nice gap in here that I'd like to fill, if we can. Now we can always move these if we really need to. The um, warehouses, that is. Just blueprint that out, and we know that we need 96 grid space, or just fill the gaps with other stuff. Yeah, that's 96 there. Oh, it's interesting. It actually on the bottom right, it actually goes over to 96. Even though it's out of 64, it, like it knows, I suppose, what it can do. Hmm. I almost wonder, is there room for another one? Kind of looks like there might be. Maybe. Let's try another one of these. Uh, I guess, sorry, it needs to be this. I was just getting a bit confused. Let's just do that for a second. Let's just cut the tiles here. Bring that over. Rotate this one, and then <laughs> it's the worst way of doing this ever. Oh my god. Leave that on normal speed now. Yeah, so just put another um, fertilizer silo here. And that way they can have a little road going into both of them. We'll just give this one what it needs first. Eighty-six. So yeah, let's just get that up to the proper number. So it's ninety-one, ninety-six. There we go. All right, let's see how many we can fit in here. This could potentially go up to 96. 73. Well, worst case scenario, we just move these out, right? Let's see what we can do with that little extra space. You'd think by now I would... Oh my... Oh my god. I thought I cancelled the destruct tool. <laughs> I was going to say, you think by now I'd know how much space these are. Alright, let's just do that again. What the hell? Is my right-click not working? I'm right-clicking to cancel, and it's twice it's failed on me. 
I might be just a little, um, what's the word? I can't even think of the word, but just rough because I've been uh, away on a holiday for a little while. So it's been a little while since I played the game. Rusty, that's the word. All right. And there we go, 96. And see what we can bring this up to. There's 96 right there. Nice, so we can keep um, a warehouse in amongst the fields. I just think it kind of breaks it up sometimes. It kind of looks nice. We'll stick into one maybe across from it for the future. So these two extra, once they get their tractor barns into position, I think that should be enough corn globally. But if not, we've got all the space along the river here as well. Place is looking a little nicer, obviously. I like that we freed up some of the space. And uh, I think what we're going to have to work on next is cotton. So that should be enough wood that comes in from Docklands and from one of our islands in Cape Trelawney. So wood and corn mixed together makes ethanol. And obviously we use corn in silos and things like that in different places. So I'm pretty confident that, that that'll probably be enough. If not, we'll try to fix it. All right, so that was for perfume. So that's perfume locked in. We then have the fans, a crazy production chain. So we've already checked on ethanol, so that's totally fine. The iron and steel and all of the aluminum and stuff, I think that's fine, but let's just have a look. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think the only place that makes fans would be here. Hmm. And therefore, we could just check how much aluminum is even needed just on this island. Yeah, so we're actually okay, 27 to 26. That's good. Coal is brought in via Docklands, so that's fine. So that's coal, bauxite, aluminum. That's all being produced fine. The motors, I suppose, would be the next one, right? We have this huge area up here for motors. And there's actually a motor factory down here that's not included in that trade union. Excuse me. And then the reason that one of the hot sauce things had to go here rather than here is because it's just outside of that hacienda range. But this range will increase once we increase the population here, and the population will increase. So I'm confident that given a little bit of time, we can just move that into its correct position. Um, however, I don't think we're ever going to be able to fit another motor factory in this way. It just seems not, seems not possible. All right. Um, and that's fine. We can just leave that one out. But yeah, so let's just check. Are we making enough motors then? Motors, just motor. Uh, yes, 17 over 15 globally though. Oh my God, we're just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit short. Just a very small amount. That's really unfortunate because if that was in that zone then, we would have enough. Yeah. What's being used here? We got that ferris. We have the workforce needed reduction cost and workforce needed reduction cost even further. What oh, have we taken away the workforce that? completely? We have. That's good. So it's only getting a 50% boost. And we're saving so much on workforce. You know what? I think there's no real harm in just building another one then. Just a regular motor factory that can just sit in that general area but not in the, in the actual uh, zone of the trade union itself. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, we'll just stick one there for now. For now, this one could probably move over to it or something, but because I'm like, well, I'm just guess second guessing everything. I'm just like, does it need to be here? I don't think so. It gets used in this building, actually. Okay, so then that can be the one that feeds the scooter factory, let's say. And this one, we'll just stick it up here. I'll leave it jutting out a bit so I always know, like, it's part of that kind of group. All right, so that should be fine. Uh, we'll have to check everything that affects that, though, but that's motor. So that's 19 over 17 now, so that's good. That's going to be affecting the cable situation, the steel, and celluloid. So let's check on maybe celluloid. Celluloid seems to be totally fine on this island and totally fine globally. This one was cable. Sorry, I just forgot exactly what it was. Uh, electric cables. Ah, okay, so yeah. This is going to be a little problem. So electric cables. Now, wasn't it down here that I did it? Yeah. These guys are getting affected by ferrous. So again, if we had another item that maybe just buffed it, another 50% or something, something that can do something for productivity, generally speaking, that would prevent me having to put another one down, which I'd like to do, <laughs> if possible. These are also requiring cow chuck, so another one of these is another cow chuck farm or plantation. Um, okay, let, let me just search items globally. In storage, unknown, equipped. Let's say... All production build. Well, let's first of all say electric cables, right? Does that not work? Should I type cables? K 
cable factory. So this is everything that affects that, right? So here we have 25%. So fortunate gives us 35% productivity. And I feel like we just... I could be wrong, but didn't we make one of these and not use it? Yeah, there's one in Crown Farms in a large trading post. So we could just transfer it over here. And that would probably give me the boost I need. Along with boosting these things even further. So let me make a note of this. Perfume. Is, I think it needs to be a 24, because I remember it from the time lapse. So 24. It's not 25 right now, which is fine. Alright, let's get the fortunate to come over here. We'll pop, pop him into the airport. I'm an impulsive shopper myself. Alrighty. Alright, that'll transfer over, and once it's here, that's another 35% on both of these, and then we'll just correct it in a second. Alright, so looking good. That that solves that. It's not going to solve the cow chuck issue, so I'll have to just check on that when we get to, but that's kind of motors done. And then the last one, then, of course, is film reel. So let's check how we are. So we already checked salt pattern. That seemed okay. But I think what we're missing is camphor, and we checked ethanol, but camphor and cotton, I think, are the two that are going to be the issue to sustain the current production levels we have for film reels. Um, yeah, so let's look at global cam4 levels. Right, so it's 60 under, yeah, over 49. So obviously need that number to come up. I think we were talking about that at the last episode and I had made a stamp for it, but it didn't save or something. It's like a blank category and I can't get rid of it. So we'll just stamp it again. I think it was out in this island here of Marbella. We have this circle here of orchards. And we can basically just stamp it. These are all doing wax anyway, so that's exactly what I need. Orchard Camphor, camphor Wax 03. Okay, so optimizations, Camphor Wax. Great. Now the idea was that I was going to build it somewhere out here, but I did just use that space for something else now. Now it could maybe fit in and amongst the uh, oil fields. Which I don't have too much of an issue with. It's just difficult. <laughs> Based on the uh, where those oil fields are, I need to like avoid them all. So let me just do this first. I'm going to cut the road. Get this out. Uh, so they all fit there. Should I just do that? If I really need to move them, I guess I can. It says 100% for everything, surprisingly. Maybe bring it down a bit. Can we go to the left? Not really. So I might end up moving these, it's just to get them built for now. Alright, and that connects it back up. Electricity should be back there now. Yep. Let's just double check all the way down here. No process, why is that? Oh, no camphor. Well, you're about to get a bunch. So let's just fix these ones now. Some of them don't have roads anymore. Oh yeah, it comes with the trade union for... Oh yeah. So we have to put in the items to make sure they get 100%, actually. So we have our fortunate. Alright, stick him in there. Or it in there. Let's go back to the old world. I think I had made a bunch of orchard items at the end of the last episode. I just didn't transfer them over yet. Okay, so I can kind of spot them at a glance here. It's one of these, one of these, one of these. They're usually like the little books. Now there is one lady that I think affects it, but I think these are all the ones I wanted. I wanted the one that gives me extra citrus. This reduces the number of trees. And the forest density, I think, yeah. Okay, right. Let's hop back over, we'll wait for them to transfer as well. So to help these trees grow, let's just get rid of all that. Open up our beautification menu. Tropical forest, coconut grove. No, we need a camphor groves. Camphor grove. Alright, that should just get the, the ball rolling with these. Okay, let's hook up these to the road. So the thing is there. Just clear any space we can for the extra trees just to make sure they're all good. I know there's a little bit more space I could clear, but I'm okay with this. Alright. Cultivation area. I think when we put these items in, they'll be okay. 
So, you're now getting that extra 35%. Let's just check on this again. So that was cables. So now it's 20 over 19. That's exactly where we want it to be. The perfume needs to come back down to about 24 or 25. So let's go perfume. It's at 29. So what I can do is turn off maybe one or two buildings. I could have had a line. Turned off two just there and we'll check again. Hotkey F. So we're at 23. So one building can be sacrificed. We'll turn one back on. All right, cool. That keeps the productivity levels pretty much the same. 26, so we've gone up a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I not take that person on? Whoops. People always say, hey, do you know you can make that automatic? I know. I actually like seeing it pop up, though. <laughs> I like just to see what the offer is. Otherwise, they just appear in here, don't they? I don't know. Just prefer seeing it that way. That's a rare instance of where I've accidentally clicked one away. All right. Um, so... These are all CAM4, CAM4, CAM4. The items should have transferred over by now. So, productivity 25%, workforce needed are increased. So the Ornolera is gonna suffer with that one. Maybe we could try a different one. Productivity, workforce needed 17%. Productivity is only 5%, but you do get citrus back out of it, which means we could change some citrus ones in the future. Forest density 20%, workforce is increased. Productivity 15%, which is good. That's 50% to 30%. I guess you get more out of it for that one. This is 25% productivity, but you get some density. Let's see, do we need the density? You're at 100%. You're at 94. 100. These are all good, actually. So I don't think I need forest density except for this one. This guy could just be moved, probably. So where you are now, hmm, it's not really giving me an accurate gauge. something like this. It's 100 now. I think we got it. Alright, so forest density isn't needed in this area then. Any further. So that's the case, I don't need that one. I'd rather use this one. Because it's more productivity. It's a lot more workforce, but compared to this, it's they're both 30% workforce, but this is extra productivity, so I'm happy to go with that one. But it does mean that we're lacking Yornaleros though now. Just realized as well, I've just moved that one out of the circle, didn't I? So it does have to come in further. 99. Hmm. <laughs> this is an exception. You're still in range if you go there. A thank you for all you've done. All right, 100. Thanks, Benty. Okay, so that's our camp four area. But we're just slightly sh short on workers now. I say slightly, it is actually pretty significant. But what we could do is go global, have a look at orchards, uh, maybe check for camp four. Oh my god, it's 61 over 60. We're only barely doing it. Jeez, I thought it'd be better than that. Citrus, 50 over 45. So what I can do there is maybe turn off one of the citrus groves we have. These are citrus, I think. That'll give us back some workforce. Hey, fucker! Better not be a bad word. Citrus, 48 over 45. Psh. Hmm. Well, there's no problem with me putting down a few more Yonalera houses. I really should have done a cleanup of this area, because this is a mess. We've also got other islands, right? We've got other islands with free workforce on it, and uh, we can always just set up extra groves and things out here. That's kind of what these are for. These islands that we have that aren't touched yet. I really wanted them, mostly for the space of doing extra orchards. Um, because I think cinnamon is the one that is still we still need a little bit more of. Yeah, it's yeah, so at least 12 right now. And I think it's going to go up even more when we start doing stuff like shampoo. Hmm, okay. I don't know if I should leave it or try to solve this now. What do you guys have? Once you get work clothes, you'll be okay. And Tef. 
And what does this do? This is post office mail. And what about out here? Coal. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the coal, because it just seems a bit silly to be making coal on this island when obviously 90% of it has to just be, 99% I would say is imported anyway, and it takes up a lot of space. So let's get rid of those two. Charcoal kilns are gone. Do this. We've got lots of room to add some extra houses, so let's just do it. That's why we're going from the top down, right? This is so that we could have more houses added in at these levels and not suffer too much of a problem. And what's the most complicated thing they're going to be requiring? The cinema stuff is fine. Yeah, they're all fine. So I'm not affecting anything terribly on the... On Soccer balls, I suppose, would be a tough one, but not that tough. It's not they're not affecting anything. I mean, like you know that we've just worked on for the investors, for instance. So they they seem it's it's okay to give them a few more houses at their level. It's not affecting anything terribly right now. So let's just throw a few more in, and in the future, if you ever need less of them, we just delete them. And hopefully, they've got everything they need, right? They have their marketplaces really close together for some reason, and that's really all they need. I know they need a church, but yeah, they apparently have it. Okay, cool. Let time play a little bit. I'm confident it's ready to go. You're confident it's ready to go. A little bit of happiness. Just get rid of that. What was the problem, actually? A rum shortage. Okay. All right. Looking good. Looking good. So with those extra people and this orchard also turned off. We should be totally fine to climb this back up. It's interesting seeing it go down a bit, though. Why would it be doing that? Oh, it could be because we're connected on a commuter pier to some other places. And maybe they're not getting certain things. So there's a commuter pier here, I think, and there's... I don't actually think there is one on this island, is there? The, the only way you have a commuter pier in the New World is by having a... Oh, there it is, yeah, the airship. Alright, so I guess they do have this. Do you guys have what you need? Oh, no, you don't. You're out of ponchos. I think we make enough ponchos. Maybe we should just make sure we deliver this. 32 over 31. It's not moving. That's why. We make them a Guadalmina. All right, let's check that out. Poncho. Poncho delivery routes. Uh, must just be some silly little error here. So we're picking them up at Guadalmina, as we should. We're dropping them at Fort Abanus. We're dropping them then into Manola and then to Marbella. Oh, uh, that's your issue. It's just, it's waiting on this place filling up first before it gets around to everyone else. They're actually dropping some here right now. They just did. Okay, they'll get it eventually. Because we do make enough. It's just a matter of... Well, actually, production is stalled because we're not carrying it away fast enough. So what that means is this needs another ship on it. Because the time it's taking for it to get around means that the production is stopping in the place it's grabbing it from. So two ships are needed. So that's cool. At least we worked that one out, I think. Uh, New World ships, please. So that should help. Speed that up. Keep that population where it should be. 284 already, so yeah. Oh, that was in that just that place. This place cut off. Oh yeah, it's not connected to Commuter Pier. These ones are, yeah. I think I've only got three islands connected via Commuter Pier here. There was a comment that uh, went back and forth with them a little bit saying, like, you should connect everything via Commuter Pier, and that way you get the free workforce of all these islands. And it's true. I mean, that is definitely the efficient thing to do. Connect everything via Commuter Pier if you have the influence, and therefore you get all of the free, you know, quote-unquote free workforce that you get of all your islands. Like, uh, like, we've got 200 sitting out here, 200 on this one, uh, another 200 out here of every class. So you could obviously pull together lots, you know, 1,000, really, if I connected all the islands that have all this extra workforce. Now here's where my weird Darren brain comes in and says, there's just something not quite right, and I'll explain it this way. If we have a look at one of my little islands, like this island of Scaries, it's a bit different in the old world, but it's a quaint little town. They have massive vineyards, to be fair, but it's a little village. And there's just something to me not right about having, like, you know, the equivalent of this with a big airship hangar delivering things back and forth. Now, if I want to deliver mail everywhere, I guess I'm going to have to do that anyway. Right? Because they all need overseas and regional mail. So maybe... Maybe that person is right. Maybe we'll just have to connect everything via commuter pier. But my initial argument back to them was, even though that is efficient, I thought it would kind of ruin the aesthetics somewhat if you have these... Also, what's going on here? If you have, um, 
I don't know, massive airship hangars on the tiniest little islands in Manola and the commuter piers on every single island. Something seemed a bit off about that to me. Now that we can get influence forever, though, and for free, it really doesn't make any sense not to do it. So, I guess I'm argu I've argued myself into a corner, haven't I? <laughs> so I guess we should do it. I won't do it right now, but yeah, we'll bear that in mind, and that means that our workforce potentially could go a lot higher. So I'll keep that in mind. Because I just thought of it once... I just tricked myself now by saying, yeah... Or tripped myself up, sorry. By saying, yep, if we want to get mail for every resident, no matter what, you're going to have to put an airship hangar on every... Not on every island, actually, I suppose, if the ones that we have that aren't doing anything. Because I've got islands where there's no one living on it, too. Hmm. It's just the ones that, like this, right? This is such a small island, it just feels wrong to put an airship hangar on it. But anyway, I'll... I'll argue myself in my sleep and see what happens when I wake up tomorrow. See if I come to a conclusion about that, because, yeah, I'm just undecided, I guess, right now. But I'm aware of that, so it's a, and it's a good point, right? And anyway, if you're playing normally and efficiently, you should totally do it. <laughs> if you're trying to build nice-looking cities, maybe it doesn't always make sense, but maybe it does. I don't know. All right. So that was... That's film reel. Is there anything left for film reel that I hadn't looked at yet? Uh, the Cam 4. That's Cam 4 fixed. The chemical plants are fixed for the ethanol and then cotton plantations. That's the last thing, I think. And cotton, I think, is short. Yeah, so 93 over 82. Just the raw cotton. Now, uh, yeah. All right. Manola and Marbella are the only two places that make it globally. So Marbella make it as part of a byproduct from this lady here, Mrs. Brown, the cultivator. She gives us some extra cotton back. And then at Manola, so yeah, it's kind of interesting that we get so much of it. And then Manola, we've got cotton plantations with literally nobody working on them, and that's all the way up here. So in the time lapse, I actually moved one of these into the radius. It wasn't quite in there. It was this one. So that's working now. And that means that these things are just super busy. It's a bit of a different problem, but they kind of actually are probably too busy for the rate that we're putting out. We're putting out something like 520% or something. Let's count that up. So it's 2, 3, 400%, 450, 490. And 525, I think, is what we're able to go up to, yep. That's perfect productivity. Now, yeah, it's quite interesting. Hmm. They don't drive across this thing, do they? No. Well, we can put some extra ones down here. We still have space to utilize, so we could do that. It would be tempting to just... To, I think what I should do is probably put down another warehouse somewhere up here. So just take the load off a little bit, and that means that these guys need a bit more space to come out. Two sixteen. All right, and then what are you at? Two fourteen. That's all they needed. And these guys can just fill that back in. All right, cool. So the idea now would be just to build a few extra down here. Yeah, because I don't want to do any more work up there. It was all just to get them in that radius. It doesn't really need to add any more up there. Although, does it look weird having extra farms down here? Maybe a little bit. This space can't be used at all. That has to stay the way it is. This space is free, though. Yeah, okay. With that in mind, then, maybe just to keep things looking kind of somewhat clean. Let's get rid of this bit, actually. They have plenty of space up here to use to get out in terms of their modules. So, again, we'll do something, another one of these here. Upgrade it fully, and then I'll need maybe two or three more of these. Let me just copy one over, I guess. Um, just trying to think how best to make it look. I think that'll do it. So the idea here would be get a silo, turn it sideways, get another silo. Eh, I went a bit too close. Oh, I just remembered. That's what I was waiting on. Steam motors. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, fine with that. And then these will need to like feed out as well. That's two more. 
both with silos and tractor barns. So, have they arrived yet? They should be here now. I'll keep you here, actually. I might use you in the future. Alrighty. Um... There you go. So that should be enough corn now. We'll just wait a little minute till they get their actual fuel, and then we'll check on them. I'll have to count up how many of these we have, because we've got a fuel station here and another one down here. So there's a lot being fed by these. This one has its work cut out for it, because it has to feed all these and obviously the ones all up here. I'm hoping that this one can then take over and do some of the ones that are a bit closer to it. I'm sure the game divides it up properly anyway. What I'm just worried about is if this one has, like, the only ones it can reach, for instance, like the other one can't reach these ones, that it's over 20. It needs to be within 20, and I don't really know. I'll have to just check that in my own time, I guess. All right, um, so yeah, let's do these. So the easiest way, I think, to do it is just get rid of all these modules altogether. So this is just this one here. All right, let's grab this all the way down to the bottom. And we'll just keep feeding you along the bottom. Just until it has a way out. Safely. Because the gap... Oh, the gap is pretty big, actually. Yeah, I'm sure all of these farms can, quote, make their way out. But they do have a lot of module space. So what is it for each one? It's 216. Wow. Are these not built? Am I in blueprint mode? Apparently so. All right, good. So that's 78. I'll just try to spam this a bit. All right, let's do something like that. Next one out will be here. Just bring it down along the bottom, and then it just needs to travel along this little buddy. All right, that gives that one plenty of space. This one then. Same situation, just needs to come to about there. Ah, made a mistake. Locked that one in by accident. There we go. Okay, good. And these will be able to get out then. So let's just finish these off then. So, 108. I wonder, can I bring it all the way down to here? Alright, what are we at now? 212 for 216, so it just needs four more. Alright, that one's done. Next one, 39. We'll continue that out that same way. A bit of a coup securing their expertise. It's cool because I've noticed that even if you do this, the tractors tend to run along the whole continuous farm, which is a nice thing that they did. It's not like the tractors are gonna squiggle along their only farm. And it seems to do that even if you haven't delivered tractors to the other things, which is kind of interesting. It's just the visuals are like, yeah, we're just going to cover a continuous farm. Anyway, um, 216, that's all good. This one. And we'll see if we've added this up correctly. Hopefully we have. Uh, let's just go to there. All right, two more farms to go. Is this going to be enough space? I don't think so. It might only be good for one. But let's see. Maybe, maybe. Oh, yes, it does work. So we can just hold shift and just get that rest, the rest of it in there. I've just noticed, though, these are sideways. Why are these sideways <laughs> compared to everything else? Let's see if we can... Nip that in the bud before that happens. Uh, just to make sure I cut away the right ones. Sorry, let's just go. Alright. So I don't know why it started off that way. Yeah, it's sideways, right? Oh, it just did it though. Don't know why it does that. It almost, it, it's like it did the opposite of what I just put down. So I wonder if I... I'll just try it one more time. If it doesn't work this time, then I'll just do it myself, I guess. So it did the opposite, right? I had it this way, and it didn't work. I'll do it this way and see if it does. No. 
Okay. Well, it is what it is. I'll fix it at some point. Every other farm behaved itself correctly. Oh, it did it, actually. Okay. Good. <laughs> now, if I was really meticulous about it, I'd be the type of person to even be like, no, I'm going to go in and literally change them all to be, like, super full. <laughs> Get rid of all the little boxes and things. And you know what? I might do that one day. <laughs> um... Because I've done that certainly before for other things. Because it's cool having the farms like have their little patches and things. But sometimes it looks really good. Ah, I remember where I've done it. I've done it for the wheat fields. Because they'll have all those little hay bales and stuff piled up. But it looks so much nicer if you get rid of them. <laughs> so I've done that. And I'd gladly do it again. Alright, so that was an effort to get more cotton. And hope that we can eventually deliver fuel up here now from this thing. And if not, if the case is that it's not working, I'll just have to shift this up even closer to its little friend. And hopefully they'll just both do it. We'll give it some time, and I'm, I'm guessing it will work out. Uh, okay. Let's see, do we have any runes? No runes at the moment. People are wondering if this money was going down because of the oil... Uh, storage facility over in Swords was damaged, but it wasn't the problem. The power plant still had power. It was just the storage of oil was a bit lower. It actually wasn't the storage of oil. It was the oil plant on Swords. So this one here broke down. But the actual oil storage was fine. Therefore, power plants were up and running. So that wasn't the issue. I'm not sure what's causing the issue of so much money. I would have to like really scrub through the episode. The previous episodes and just see when did it really take a massive hit because it used to be plus 100,000 but I think it is just the chemical plants and things like that especially putting in those items that increase the maintenance cost of those buildings the chemical plants are costing like three or four thousand each and there's lots of them so I think that's just it but once the tourists and the investors get all their stuff again actually I'm not showing the true everything if I pressed L you can see a lot of these drugstores and things don't have their goods and they make a lot of money when they're given to people um, so that's another thing that's also a contributing factor, I think, also. So we're missing lacquer. We're missing some tobacco. Just these little things, you know, they end up reducing good consumption, obviously, which is actually really interesting. I should really do these next, thinking about it, along with the tourists. Um, because then we get the true value of how much we really need to make and consume. That's actually an interesting point. Herman's a German. <laughs> um, I think I might have named it that. There was a... Back when I went to... Oxygen, a concert in Ireland many years ago, festival. There was a Frankfurter sausage place called Hermann's a German that was amazing, but gave everybody diarrhea. So that was good. Um, <laughs> all my friends that went there, we assume it was that place anyway. It was like spicy sausages, loved them. They tasted great, but you know, it was kind of trashy festival food. And uh, the next day we were all crapping ourselves. So yeah. Now we're on to negative 100k. So what's the thing that's losing the most money? Investors are tumbling down. Engineers are going up. Interesting. I know that um, the mail, once mail gets delivered and undelivered, that's a reason for big fluctuations right now. Because we're not making enough mail. I can give you a decent amount of money as well. So that could be part of it. That's an alarmingly high number, actually, though. 100k. No, I mean, obviously, we've got a lot in the bank, but... I don't know. Don't, don't like that. <laughs> we're up to 160,000 population, though. All right, so I've let a little time play. These guys still haven't received their goods. It's a little worrisome because we can only hold 20. So I'm going to have to count it up. I I'm sorry to have to do this on screen here, but I, I just have to. So let's go. One, two. Well, we can do this way, right? So this is all the cotton plantations on the island. So I can just count that, actually. It's much easier if I could find it. So there's 11. Yeah. And they all have tractor barns. Pretty sure they all do. And there's none anywhere else on the island, right? Just double check. No. All right. So 11 are using fuel up there. So that leaves nine more that this guy's free to use. Now, I have to count the ones that you're not in reach of. So, okay. So that's easy enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, at least in theory, the fact that there's, you could have maybe one more, and then you'd be good. 
But then the other question is, how much do you have then that isn't part of that initial thing we just counted? Are you over 20 as well? So let's count. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Magnet for genius. So they're okay too. They're definitely covering 17. And they're covering... They've got room for just one extra. So yeah, they're covering 19. So they, it should get delivered then, I think, if, if the game knows how to divide this up correctly. If it doesn't know, and it's just going to the first one at once, or the closest one at once, then I've got a problem. Then these will probably need to be built next to each other. But in theory, it looks like there's actually room for a couple extra farms on this bottom one and one on this one. But you can let me know in the comments if you think I've done that out wrong, because it does seem to be... That's this seem to be the way it is. It could just be the fact that these are the newest ones placed down, so we're just waiting on the trucks to get there. Although I'm not seeing any yellow lines to this place. Ooh, I know what I could probably do to force it, which is just turn off all the other farms for a while, let this just run, hit all these ones, and then maybe it'll just always stay on those ones? I don't know. Could that be a potential fix? Because it's it's... We can see lines going to all the different tractor barns, but it's not going to those two. Although, that being said, it's not going to this one either, so I don't know if these lines are updated or something in real time. It's just the active... These are the trucks. These are the lines for the active trucks, aren't they? Yeah, because that line just changed, actually. Okay, all right. We'll give it some time, then. I'll just have to hope for the best. Right, so that was to check on cotton. 87. Yeah, so definitely with the two tractor barns active, if they become active, that will fix it. Oh crap, we've got a fire out here. I haven't heard the disaster music in a long time. There's no fire station, it said. Yeah, apparently not. There's one here. And it ends just right around that area. Now, if you upgrade to advanced, is additional input to operate sending out they strongly reduce the chance of an incident occurring and have higher street range. I think I've got some of that stuff delivered here. This one's upgraded. Yeah, we've got 500 fire extinguishers, so... They'll be able to reach. And they'll do it themselves. I love how everyone's just kind of going... Well, not everyone, actually. People are running around. <laughs> I was going to say, everyone's just going about their day. But people are panicking. The kids have been brought out into the streets in their various proms and stuff. The little kid with his balloon. He's, that's the kid from that meme. He's, like, holding a balloon and looking at the burning house in the distance. He's the one that did it. I know all of your secrets. <laughs> that's... <laughs> all right. Psycho kid. Somebody keep an eye on that kid. All right, so I'm hoping, yeah, oh, the fire extinguishers are up there, actually. Oh, no, that's Arctic gas. It looks just like fire extinguishers. Hey, there's the fire, guys. Look at them go. Go, go, go. Four of them on the way. I kind of want to see this uh, take effect. We don't really zoom in as much anymore in these latest, later episodes, so it'd be kind of fun just to take a little peek. Oh, there's a gap here, man. There they are. That's cool. Nice. We can look at the difference now of the range. Yeah. Oh, nice. It actually covers the full extent of the village. Perfect. That's brilliant. It was previously just ending right around here, wasn't it? So that's a really good... Um, considering that my roads are crazy, it's a good extension. They should be able to get to everything. That kid is now unhappy. Alright, cool. Uh, so, back to New World. So, this whole episode has gone by and we've just done the investor stuff. I thought uh, I'd have time to do start, start some other things. I think we can probably make a little quick start on one of the other things towards the end here. You're full of cotton. Um, so, yeah, cotton globally needs more somewhere else. But I guess here, the production of everything here should be fine. So, that's film reels. That's film reels done, you know. Totally done and delivered. Oh, one very last thing I didn't check was actually salt powder.
Yikes. Um, hmm. You get it as a byproduct from certain I think we have it. plants and things, right? What about just on this island? If it's okay on this island, I'm happy enough to leave it for a while. No. Okay. Does salt better get delivered in here? Animal byproducts. Comes from on an... Oh, yeah. The new world is importing salt pepper and canned goods. This is a disaster route. All right. Um, yeah, salt pepper is definitely one for Docklands, I think, because it's a raw material. It's a little awkward. You do get it as a byproduct from animal farms, but it's a bit of a pain. So let's just sort that one out in the Docklands, and then we should be good. So he's arriving in six minutes. We're getting all that wood brought in. The elevators are totally fine. Yeah, it looks like the trade hall. Why is this in red? It just is? Is it... I don't know why that is. It doesn't mean it's decreasing or something. It's full up, so I assume it's fine. Storage full. Storage full. The elevators aren't in red, but these are. Is it just because their storage is full then, maybe? That might be the reason, actually, yeah. That seems to be the commonality yeah, between them. They have an issue. Uh, okay, so... Salt peta. Um, just gold. Why not? If we need it for something else, I'll change it up. Let's just do 5,000. <laughs> See how much we bring in. And then I'll just set up one ship that's going back and forth with salt pepper. Because it seems like you need a lot. So, from Lusk to the New World. I'm Amazingly, this episode, is a, this is the first trade route we've done. So pick it up, please. Drop it off, and we'll pop you onto a... Yep. And then we'll just say New World to Old World. And it's a import. Is it spelled like that? I think it is, right? Yep. Hopefully one ship is enough. Delivering 300 at a time. Alright, cool. Do they have any in reserve here? Just out of curiosity. It's a raw material, isn't it? They've got 346 already. Well, we're going to be making fat, a fat 5,000 is going to be coming in and destroying my gold economy. But it should all work out in the end, later on. Hopefully it doesn't mess with the... No, because it's going to happen after, right? This It goes from left to right, I think. Yeah, so it takes the gold from here, it takes the gold from here, and then from here. So that should be okay. Keeping our coal number one is really, really important. All right, so finally, that does seem to be everything for that chain to do with film reel. Film reels should now be made. We've got enough celluloid, we've got enough salt pepper, and everything making celluloid, all that has enough, all the way working back. So we're done. I think that is investors finally fully kept up with. If there might be one or two small things I'm forgetting, but it shouldn't be difficult to fix if it is the case. And we've come up to nearly a thousand euro leros now. All right, so next up then is going to be the tourists and the engineers. So something I'm looking forward to with tourists will be... I think the first thing I'd like to do is fix all of the restaurants and all of the drug stores and department stores and all of that kind of stuff. Um, they, they just need the restaurants, right? But it's the Skyline Tower that then has all these extra needs for other things. And it gives you more investors and, and stuff like that. So that'd be nice to fix because it's still kind of the investors. So if I press L, there we go. We can see which ones are in need. Might have to make note of these between episodes and just write them down. But lacquer is definitely one I've seen multiple places. Lacquer, brass, and I think tobacco. Yeah, there's brass again. There's lacquer. There's tobacco. Coal, surprisingly, actually. For the toothpaste. And then lacquer. A lot of lacquer. What is lacquer? It's just paint, right? Yeah. Or furnishing, kind of. Varnish. All right. Well, let's see. I've got lacquer down here. Ah, they're missing their resin. Oh, I know why. Because resin was never set up from here. So this is the island that makes resin. And it's just the ship is offline. That's all. But I, I think we do need more now as well from what it was before. Yeah, 17 under 20. So it just needs a little bit more. So one or two more of these orchards doing resin could be the solution. So maybe we could just stick them at the back of the tourists. Even if it's not 100%, I don't mind. It'll still look nice. And we have the workforce for it. So that's three extra resin. 
Now, they need storage here because storage is quite low. Although we have docklands, so maybe we could build a depot. Increases storage capacity. And we'll just <laughs> leave it with that one, I guess. What's our storage now? Oh, it's at 800, actually. Okay, that's good enough. All right, resin. Let's set up another trade route for resin to be delivered back down to where it used to go, which is down here. Now, resin is made in very high quantity, so let's just try one ship doing it. So it's 300 at a time, just going back and forth. Don't know if it's picked up anywhere else. Like, there's seems like we make some down there. Alright, so that's a ship doing that. Just want to check down here really quickly. So I had orchards for jam. Yeah. Don't think I've got any for resin. Stuff for logs. It's interesting, all that stuff can kind of go away maybe in the future to, because um, we pull in logs through docklands. Alright. Yeah, that's good. So that'll, con that'll keep lacquer production up. But do we make enough lacquer is the next question. Probably not. Oh my god, we do. So it's all made at Lusk and we do make enough. So, once we feed it with resin, they have the ethanol and then the sand comes in through, well, it should come in through Docklands in the future anyway. We do make some in the in Cape Trelawney. They seem to have a lot here. Could kind of trace that. I think globally, sand is definitely enough. Oh, no, it's not. So, maybe a little bit of Docklands is needed. Or we could turn these sand mines back on at Colossus 2. Why are they offline, actually? Probably because I didn't need them for that particular island. But we have the workforce for it, so get get cracking. These are the ones that get the bonuses. Hmm. And then we have a sand-specific ship there, yeah. All right. It's either that or pull it in through Docklands. I just don't want to waste these precious Docklands slots. If we're making sand in large quantities over in Cape Trelawney, it might make sense to pull that in through Docklands at Cape Trelawney, and then just set up a ship to deliver any excess over here. Um, but for now, I'm we'll continue this in the next episode, but for now, I think that is, you know, resin should be produced, lacquer should get produced, and when the lacquer gets running again, I think a lot of these should be fine. Brass won't be, but glass? Mm hmm Yeah, I'll start taking stock of these things in between episodes now, because some of this stuff surely isn't being imported anymore. Like, I don't think we make cherry wood and deliver it here anymore. So it'll be a kind of a trial and error kind of thing to see what I'm missing and check my trade rates of what's coming in and what's not. So I'll just make a note of all this in a little notepad in between episodes, and that's going to have to be it for this episode. So today we basically said that we should now be done with the... Let's check our categories. We're done with the needs category. We're done with happiness. We're done with wealth. And we're done with delight. Communication is going to be a little challenging later on down the line. But I'm actually going to just even pause this so it stops fluctuating. Oh, no, but... Yeah, I'll need to keep it on just in case I ever do check the statistics. I'll forget, so <laughs> I'll need to make sure I have that on. I just don't like the way it keeps fluctuating a lot, but oh well. Just trying to think, is that it? I think that's pretty much it. So on to tourists, the drugstores, the restaurants and tourists, and then anything that the engineers will need because their lifestyle is going to combine up with some of the tourists. They need shampoo. The ice cream, I think, are needed by both as well. Mezcal will be fun to get working from the new world, so I look forward to the next one. It should get easier and easier and quicker and quicker from here on out, I think. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, that's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Consider liking it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and if you want to support even further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get early access to my videos ad-free, and also access to my Discord, where we've just set up a new Valheim and Satisfactory server for people to play on. Hopefully we can grow a community and add more games and perks in the future. Either way, I appreciate people just watching this far into the video. Thank you.